back here in San Francisco for the WPH Race 48. Women's semifinals are just about underway. My name is Dave Vincent. Alongside Dave Fink, we have Fiona Tolley, who looks like she'll be returning the serve up against Katrina Casey. Final. This is the best two out of three to 15. Breaker also Ireland, to 15. Tully. Our referee is Daniel Cordova here. And serving also from Ireland is Katrina Casey. Fiona really impressed me yesterday in her two zero, wins, zero. Dave, took down Danielle Daskalakis in her first round, 15-12 and a tiebreaker. So she was nearly out of here in what One. we call the women's race for eight qualifier, that round of 16, and then she overcame Ashley Moeller, who's been playing great ball in two games. Well, the last time Katrina Casey was in a marquee match filmed on ESPN, on this two court, zero. she mm -hmm. put two zeros on her opponent, and that was the finals of the 2015 women's bracket Point. against Jessica Gawley from Canada. Katrina broke two records on that day. Scoring margin of victory, 90 Short points ball. to seven combined, yes. and the double bagel Second, in sir. the final. I told Katrina yesterday she gave up. I thought it was Point. three points, but now reported as two. I said she was off her pace from 2015. She said, don't worry, I'll catch up. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's bad. That was scary. Well, she looks good right now. That ball looked like it was a, an A serve. Second serve. She's already up four to zero here. These two matched up, Dave, in the semifinals of the All-Ireland 40 by 20 championships about a month ago. It was Katrina Casey winning that one Five zero. comfortably. It's five to zero now here in game number one. And you would think there's a little bit of tension on Fiona's part based only on the fact that this zero is on five. ESPN. I know ESPN isn't uh, something that we see in Ireland. <laughs> oh and she her first serve is into the ground and she basically wants to pull the cap over her eyes. But that's another record five right zero. there. First serve ever on ESPN in the ground. No one's ever done that before. So you just get the record books out Point. in San Francisco, Dave, particularly in the women's bracket. And you can just write them in. 6-0. Well, nothing worse than Casey coming in immediately afterwards and getting an unforced error and then another one. Point. And now 7-0. to zero. And no timeout calls seven here from zero. Fiona. You went from saying to yourself, I think I can be competitive if dot, dot, point. dot, and then you are in this position where you're down 8-0 to zero, where you're saying, I'm wishing to score a point. Or get, and then you get to a point where it's, I'm wishing to get the ball back to the front wall. <laughs> well, you can't get that back to the front no. wall. Okay. Not if you let it bounce five times. You still couldn't get it back. I mean, Katrina is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I, I really contend there's about, really, Short. there's only about, what, 10 guys in the club that can beat Katrina? Second well, I serve. told Katrina last night we had a, a huge party last night hosted by Alex Tico. There's probably less than 20 people in the world that could beat her. I played her on Wednesday night, Dave, and just outstanding. You know, I thought one Point. of her weaknesses was when she punched fist balls, watching her on video, but then when I was in the zero. court with her, those punch fists are effective. So she doesn't have any weaknesses. Look at this Point. shot. Katrina now has a, That's a timeout. what I would say elite level Everyone serve. Scores 11 Every zero. serve she's hit has double bounce the back wall. They're not coming off the back wall. That makes it almost impossible when they're sliding the wall for Fiona to defend. Really unbelievable play now, here from Katrina. I mean, we anticipated it, but now not you like this. You say that, well, it's going to be tougher this year to break that 90-7 to 7 record, being that she'll be playing Sian or Ashling in the final, but I don't know what we're seeing right now. I don't know who could score. Fiona has had one serve, and she hit it directly into the ground. Well, we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. It was about five feet in front of her, not directly. Yeah, that was tough. Okay. Time in. Scores 11-0. I mean, Dave, in this pace here, there's a good chance that if you and whoever you were going to play in the fifth place playoffs, 
Marco Chavez or whomever that is going to be. It is Marco Chavez. There's a good chance that if you wanted to do that right after this match, you could if he was willing. But there's another women's match, right? But that's... Oh, I see. That's at 245. We're only at one. Twelve zero. We're only at 149. But when Marcos and I start arguing, it takes a lot of time. With each other, I mean. That's good. So if you want to do that. I do, well, actually. I'll hold your headphones while you go and <laughs> ask. Sign well, up. I know that you don't like to switch in the middle of a game. I'm going to wait until after the game. See if I can hunt down OCH. Zero twelve. I'm going to have to warm up, though. I did not get warmed up in my match. Didn't get a chance. Point. And there's the kind of right-hand kills that I watched Fiona execute yesterday. She really drops that back knee, gets low, and makes a great sidearm swing. Short. And she has a ton of power. And I was watching her with Danielle. Second, that was just very exciting. Yeah, handball great yesterday. match. Both of them showing amazing power. Side out. Just snaps that ball with her left hand there. Open stance. 12-1. Point. A wide corner kill. Very hard to execute that. Katrina does it though, right corner. This 13, is the one. first of the women's semifinals. And we had some really good matches in the quarters yesterday. As Fiona digs that ball out before it double bounces off the crack serve. Very impressed with Point. Fiona's offhand power. Game point serves one. And Dave, this game is just six minutes old. And there Short. was a timeout called. Right. So one of those minutes was a timeout. Mm -hmm. Second serve. Mm. This second serve got Fiona last time. The longest rally in this game has been six shots. And this one, wow. Oh. Side out. Fiona playing that perfectly. Nice anticipation there. Well, she's been on the court one a number of times 14. with Katrina, so she should have a good idea. She's seen that corner kill enough <laughs> to know that. Look at that ball go all the way back there. Look at these shots Fiona's making, Side and on. that's just out of her reach. Katrina is a first grade teacher in Dublin, Dave. Game point serves one. We've really seen her grown up, or grow up, I should say, since this tour started. That's the first game. And she just took Fiona to school <laughs> on that. Katrina Casey taking down Fiona Tolley here in game number one, 15 to one, and you're saying what on your watch? Seven and a half minutes? Yeah, that's a seven minutes and 45 seconds. Pretty quick first tidy there. As Fiona comes out of the court rather quickly here. Of course, the next game in about four minutes, so you make sure to stick around for that. The Southern California Handball Association proudly hosting the 69th USHA National Four Wall Championships at Los Caballeros in Fountain Valley, California. That's June 26th through the 30th. The Nationals are a summer tradition for handball players across the country and around the world. A place to reconnect with the old handball friends and enjoy the best handball competition in the nation, whether it be three or four wall. This year's Nationals are going to take place in the gorgeous backdrop of Southern California, making it the ideal family trip. Los Cab Club nestled in the heart of Orange County near popular Southern California tourist attractions with easy airport access. In fact, it's only about 14 minutes away by car. Enter today through R2 Sports or visit the USHA Handball website at ushandball.org. Tournament calendar is right there on the website. Just scroll down to find it for more entry information or to reserve seats. WPH and USHA are happily announcing that partnership to film, stream the live broadcast of the national championship matches. The live WPH broadcast begins on Friday, June 28th, and it'll be directed by Jeff Kastner. We'll also continue through the finals on Sunday, June 30th. We will have more information on the WPH website at wphlive.tv or ushandball.org for the national broadcast updates. Make sure to go there to find out more. Gonna be a lot of fun. 
USHA Four Wall Nationals, June 26th through the 30th. Here it's the women's semifinals, and you see Fiona, a little smirk on her face there as she methodically walks it back into the show court. First game to include a timeout, around seven minute mark. Five, uh, 15 to one was the final score. As Katrina Casey beats Fiona there. We're waiting here for the referee to get these two underway for game number two. Ready? Fiona will be serving first here in game number two. Good. Okay, Fiona serves first, second game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Screen. Two serves. Game number two now underway. A little bit of contact there, no call from the ref, just let them play through it. Another little bit of congestion. Crossover Side up. from Katrina in front of Fiona, no call. There's like three in a row there that could have been brought up, but nothing zero, zero. Nothing said, zero to zero on that first serve from Tolly. It's the first time she was able to get the ball over the line, Dave. Zero, zero. Tolly was. <laughs> Pretty long She's rally too. Still in the record books though. Fiona did score, though, in that first game. Two, I believe. One. One, One okay. I knew Katrina was still on One her zero. pace. She's got to allow two points per match through Point. three rounds to break her record. Mm. Now, that's a record she thinks about. Two zero. She combs those fun facts, Dave. Short. Making sure that everything's correct. And she's not one of those people that's just looking for her own stats. Second serve. She's looking at all the stats. Right. And she knows them. You know, you have a lot of people come up to you and they'll say, well, you know, I've played in 52 events, not 51. It's, uh, you know, about them, not Point. her. Right. In fact, she's so diplomatic, she won't even bring up inaccuracies about her own stats, hmm. if there are any. That's interesting. That's a nice shot there. Side up. And you know, the thing about Fiona, she's Zero really three. a good player. Ah, and that's I think she's excellent. You'd have to say. She's just being handcuffed right now. Top five player sure. on the planet. Right. Right. She's just not having the result right here. I'd well, say so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would say that's amazing. 37 so feet with the ball dipping. With your off hand. Yeah, that's around your sh low shin. Zero. And it's also punch. right in front of right. Fiona, who has a chance to see it better than anybody. Short. Short here. I hadn't played Katrina Second serve. in five years until we played the other night, and she's improved. Of course, she was number one back in 2014. Point. And she's clearly gotten stronger. You can see that. She does a lot Four of zero. yoga and cross training. And I heard her last night saying she's playing a lot of games now, living in Dublin. Side up. She said it's harder to get court time by herself because there's so many players. So she, Zero four. she gets a lot of practice matches. That's good. Yeah. Interesting. Our host last night, Dave, asking Katrina and the other pros Side up. what their ratio between practice and playing is. So you, you had all the pros sort of discussing that. Katrina said about 50-50. She likes to do hmm. an equal amount sure. of both. That's interesting. Second serve. It seems like more the reality would be more by yourself than it would be with against somebody. It seems like that's how the pro men have been lately when you talk to them. Like you just can't get matches. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's all play and no by yourself time. Well, 
there is a point. a point where you want to practice by yourself if you're a pro. But also, if you're a pro, you already own all the shots. I think as Five you're coming zero. up, you need to make sure that you own every single shot. And then I think it's more play in just kind of refining your timing in the court by yourself. But when you're somebody like Katrina, who's a prodigy, mm -hmm. I think a lot of her game was built on being by herself in the court throwing a ball. That's a great camera. Yeah, I mean, it? as you're coming up, yeah. it's more court time by yourself. But I think when you reach Katrina's level or any top pro's level, I think you want to try and Six get zero. as much good sparring as you can. Point. Point. It's... You see how low she gets to the ground? I mean, her hand is to the ground when she Seven strikes zero. this ball on the serve. A lot of players are hitting that about their knee level. She's about six inches off the ground there. That's a great left-handed kill shot to the left corner. See a lot of players shank that, over hit it. Eight zero. Eight to zero in game number two, winning the first one 15 to Short. one. Second serve. Of all the places I've lived, Dave, Tucson for the last six years, Pittsburgh before that, I have never seen someone in the court practicing by themselves. Have you? Points. Yeah. Hmm. Me. <laughs> Klamath Falls. <laughs> well, Me. I meant besides us. I know that That's you and I have I done. I almost exclusively, like right. when I play, yeah, that minute. would be it. Yeah. Yeah. I do it a zero. lot because I find it more... Like, I know that I have holes in my game. Right. I just need to try to work it out. You but know? I'm, I'm not trying to insult anybody here. But I want... I don't know if it is an insult. No, but I want to see people practicing because I know that's the only way they're going to get better. Mm. And so for me, I see talented players, particularly young ones, and I'm thinking to myself, why are you leaving the club now? You just played two games. Now you should be in the court by yourself for two hours. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. You know, and it's... I just don't see it happening. Well, I, I agree with you. Yeah. Okay. You know, we were talking about Fiona earlier, not getting off the subject. I'd love to stay on Tucson. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we don't know a, uh, much about uh, Katrina's opponent, but Katrina gives us a great insight on Fiona Tolley. Let's go to this interview right now. Fiona Tully is from Roscommon in the west of Ireland and yeah new for you guys I'm all too familiar with her over the last few years we played quite a lot at home in Ireland in the championships in national tournaments um, so this year we played in the semi-finals of the All-Ireland Championship and the semi-finals of the Irish Nationals um, and the semi-finals of the She's Ace tournament in January, I think. So probably three times already this year. Um, so she's a very good player, very, very talented, two great hands, very skillful. Um, she had two good matches today. She went uh, tiebreaker with Danielle Daskalakis, and then she had uh, her quarterfinal against Ashley Moeller, who's kind of the in-form um, player from the US at the moment. So she was very impressive with those wins so I'm looking forward to the game but I know that I'll have to play really well well that's what exactly what she's doing she's playing really well look at the score here Side up. as yep. Katrina comes right back into the servers box you'll never find a more complimentary player one. than mm -hmm. Katrina Casey about every player in the sport and yet she's the best player in the sport she's got a lot of respect for her peers which I think is really cool You know, Fiona hits a good shot there down the right, and Katrina puts her right on the string. Wow, that's a great Side shot up. right there. That You know, the difficulty of executing that shot is One pretty high. Nine. Have to have a lot of shoulder strength to pull that ball to the right corner Short. to the front. Is it shoulder strength, or is I think it a it wrist is. flick? I'm not, I don't know if the wrist Second is serve. enough. I think it it's involved. I I, all I, I know is that when I try to hit that shot, it hurts my shoulder. Hmm. My wrist never hurts. Point. That's an another point now. What does this That's do with the average? Well, now she's off target. 2-9. She needs to be at 4 or less. She's at 5 now. Opponents have scored f oh, 5 I points. I got you. So she if she finishes out this match without Fiona scoring more points, she has she'll to put a 0 in a zero and a 1 tomorrow. That's I not going to happen. <laughs> 
Not against those opponents. Nine two. <laughs> Either one of those that she's playing. I just don't I would, see how that no, would happen. I, no. The odds are thousands to Point. one against yeah. that. Ten two. The same odds as Duke winning the NCAA championship. Hmm. Did Duke get their best player back after he yeah. his shoe broke? Yes. Okay. And he's been playing. So then, aren't they a favorite Point. if he if they have him? Unless you watch them play, and then you realize. No. Nah, Eleven two. If you had a chance to repick your brackets, you probably wouldn't. Are they still alive? Yeah, they barely won last night by two. But they, every game they play now, it seems like they barely win. So. So they're in the round of eight. Point. Uh, semis. I think last night was the uh, quarters, right? I don't know. Yeah. No, I think that was two. the round of sixteen. Oh, yeah. Okay. So well. now they're. They only have to beat three more teams. Yeah, but the teams that they beat, they, they've been favored Point. like heavily, and they uh, barely got through both okay. times. So it doesn't seem like they're going to win. 13-2. But, but it seems like they have a better chance of winning than Katrina does of holding to Sion or Ashley point. to one That was point. the whole joke. You're, oh. you're making me dissect See, something that's <laughs> – Well, I don't know anything about college basketball. I was so being sarcastic to those out there two. that, that oh. actually feel a little weary some okay. knowing that – Duke is who you picked in your bracket, knowing that. I thought if you would have gone more of like a Roy McIlroy Tiger Woods match play matchup, well, where Tiger won that one today. Yeah, I didn't know he so won I it. I, I know he hit that eagle and played pretty good yesterday, and that they were lined up Two to play today. 14. I didn't hear the results. Mm. I don't want to be a spoiler. I know that you know we have a lot of crossover viewers. Mm -hmm. Second serve. Tape that one. Well, we're kind of spoiling the match, is what we're doing. Talking. That match is spoiled by looking <laughs> at the score. Okay. Right here. Mm. Ah, a little bit Sorry, of I let congestion. you take that. I thought you had time. Fiona will play for third tomorrow, and that'll be an interesting match. 3-14. Yeah. Because, it, you know, in Ireland, you seem to run into the same person every time in the semifinals and finals Side because out. of the way their rankings and seedings. So it's always... You know, it was Match point serves Nash three. and Crehan meeting every tournament and Mulkerns right. and McCarthy. So Fiona is going to get an opportunity to match up against either Siana or Ashling, who I don't think she's ever played. And there it is. That's so match. Katrina Casey girls. taking down Fiona totally. And I agree with you. I heard Siana say that she hadn't played Ashling Riley because they're always in the opposite side of the bracket. So that's going to be an interesting thing that comes up. Not next, though, because we're actually going to have a men's fifth place come up between that second uh, women's semi, just based on the fact that we're behind on time. But let's go to the court here where Kara Mack is with our champion. Do you Katrina. want me to walk and talk with our champion since I just heard we're a little, we need some No, 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 okay. no, I fixed that problem. <laughs> okay, heading now to the finals, taking on either Ashleen or Sienna. Talk about this one, the Fiona, you kind of introduced us to her because it's the first time that we're seeing her here. Yes. And you talked about how you would have to be, play very strong to be able to yeah. overcome her. Yeah, um, she's a very good player, like, Maybe she seemed a bit nervous there, so like her shots in quite off for her. Like on her day, she can serve really well left and right and kind of is deceptive with the service. So I just felt like I played well today. I really am happy with how I was playing. Um, even compared to yesterday, like my serves were much better, I thought. Uh, other people watching might tell me differently now, but uh, I felt like I was moving well and shooting like I skipped some in, but you know, that's progress for me in terms of my mindset, so. Your life has changed so much in the last couple of years. What are you grateful for now in your game that you're able to pull off knowing you're working full time and you have so much more established? Um, yeah, like I moved to Dublin recently actually for work, so that's been a change and it takes a while to kind of find your feet in terms of courts to play at and people, new people to play against. But um, yeah, I'm just really grateful to my school actually, because I just started obviously this year and they've allowed me the time off to travel to this tournament and Salt Lake City. So that means the world to me. I would be like really disappointed if I was just at home watching. So I'm delighted to be here. You're known to be the best, but what is the best still working on for herself? What are you still working on this game on the most? Oh my God, I feel like you never stop learning in this game and like there's always so much room for improvement um like all areas uh the big thing it's like a broken record everyone tells me you have to be more aggressive so obviously that's something i'm working on um so yeah that's like your approach and then obviously my technique on my kill shots like letting the ball drop and staying low so that's something i've been working on and will continue to do so <laughs> 
Congratulations. So good to see you. Thank you much. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Back to you guys. Thank you very much. There's our champion, Katrina Casey, back in the finals here in San Francisco. We'll have another great one coming up right around the corner. In fact, since we're so early, we will have the men's fifth place semifinals between Marco Chavez and David Fink up next. It's a one game match to 25. Should go rather quickly. And then the second women's semifinals will be up right after that. So stick close. We'll have about a maybe five to 10 minute warm up, maybe even less than 10 minutes, but we'll see. That'll be here on ESPN3 in the Watch ESPN app. Stick around. More continued handball. Some great matches, in fact, coming up here in San Francisco at the Olympic Club. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks and cornerbacks are all